What is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your third MongoDB tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to create a database in MongoDB and kick start it. So let's get started. Well, you just need to create a folder and just place a script.js file there. Well, we don't need to do anything with this file for this tutorial, but we might need it as our code gets complex and bigger for MongoDB. So right now you can see that I already have the server running so right here just go ahead and press shift right click open command window here and you'd be good to go now just write mongo and you'd be in the shell right so now you can see that it's connecting to test well this test would be there by default so what you have to do is write show dbs right so it would just show you your DBs the first one is local and the second one is random freaking DB well uh, so well, that's embarrassing I should have <laughs> deleted that but anyway so well how do you create your database well to create a database use write actually use then your database name right so in this case if I write MDB and hit enter that says switch to DB MDB well now you might think like show dbs should probably show but hey it doesn't well the reason is that you need to insert at least one document in your mongodb and don't worry about these documents we'll just learn a lot about them later on for now what you have to do is write dbs db actually dot uh, mdb dot insert and right here would be your object kind of so your job object could be pretty much anything just like we have in JavaScript so I'm just gonna say am I awesome and set its value to true right so it's a typical JavaScript object and hit enter you can see the right result is one well now you have something in your database so now if you do show DBs you'll see that your MDB is just above above your random freaking DB and that's pretty cool and its size is almost zero compared to units when you take GBs at the, as the unit so that is pretty much how you create a database and uh, actually write something to it as well so yeah so that is all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to properly write some data and uh, retrieve it as well so that is all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one